Okay, so, so far today, I took off the inch and a quarter spindle, drop spindle that I ordered wrong. I took the factory one, put it back on here, and I put my tires and wheels back on. On this side, I took, took it all apart, pulled the spring out. First bass ever on a glide bait. Renee Wilson, you will be proud. Think about that. Good morning, everybody. It's nice and early. About 8 o'clock. We're coming down here to my favorite little place in my neighborhood. I like to fish. The Opaken Creek. Last night, I had a big fish blow up on a lure down here. And I caught three smallies. We're going to get down here. And we're going to see what we can get into. Water's kind of low. But that's normal. Stay tuned and I'll let you know how it goes. First thing this morning, we're going to try a heading tiny torpedo. We're going to try it all along that nice flat area over there. It's kind of deep on the other side. So let's see what we can get into. Nice 12 inch bass, a Z Man crawl. Nice fight. I pulled the spring out. I took the new stock spring and put it in its place. And I put everything together except for I didn't put the caliper back on here. I didn't put the dust shield back on here. I didn't put none of the cotter pins back on the tie rods and the ball joints. I didn't. Because I'm getting ready to take it all apart again and put the new spindles in that I had to order the other day. The other day. So they'll be here on the 12th. Till then, the next project, I decided I would go ahead with the shifter. And I was just been trying to figure out where I was going to mount it. So I got this stand right here that goes with it. And I'm going to set it where I want to have it. So it's not so close to the dashboard where I, if I hit my hand when I throw it up in park or anything like that. And so I got to pull the carpet back, drill some holes, you know, mount all that crap. But that's, today it rained. I took off this morning, went fishing, caught some fish. I'll even put them in the video if you want to see them. Because it's not just trucks I do around here. It's adventures. Adventures on my boats, my kayak, and everything else. But it's getting there. Like they say, Chevrolet is... By sitting under the shade tree, best thing I could have done, best thing I could have done, because now I can work on it when it's hot outside, and not get all burnt up. So, so Summit, I order all my parts from Summit. I just got some more in here the other day. I got my new distributor. I got my spark plug wires. I got my wire looms, and I got an RPM tack for this truck. Because you know with these flat tappet cams, you're supposed to run it at 2,000 RPMs for like 10 minutes to break it in. So I didn't have a tack, so I had to get one. Yeah, I had to get one. Money pit. Hopefully, here, another month or so, if all goes well, I'll be driving this thing around, having some fun with it. Yep, having some fun.
looking forward to going to Ocean City. Come October, if everybody gets their stuff together right, my cousin on that 87 square body that's in my videos, the blue one, the four-wheel drive, he's putting an LS motor in there, and I believe it's a 4L80 transmission he's getting built. It's going to be real nice. Then I had to put this thing back on. The truck's old. It needs a paint job. Needs some dent work. A little bit of rust work, not much. Frame's good. A little bit of rusted fender, a little rear quarter panels. Just a little bit, not much. <clears throat> I just thought I'd sum this up. That's where we're at right now. I'm not going to be doing any more work on the suspension until the spindles come in. And everything else under there is brand new, so it's going to all be still brand new. <clears throat> I did put, like I said, brand new brand new uh, cool springs on here. Stock cool springs. And I ordered two and a half inch drop spindles. Couldn't seem to find a three inch set that I wanted for the one inch rotor. <clears throat> I put the springs and the spindles on Marketplace. And I did that yesterday and they were just picked up about an hour ago. That's the way you do it. Got to flip stuff over to make your money back somewhat. Didn't make it all, but I made some of it. It's better than losing it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to watch this build. <clears throat> Ring the bell so you'll know how far I go and when I'm doing my next video, my next project. Because, you know, as soon as this one's done, as soon as this gets done running, we're going to start on that dart. I'm sorry. Scamp. The Plymouth Scamp. Maybe even the GMC. I'm thinking about slamming that to the ground three inches, too. But that's besides the point. Besides the point. Anyway, y'all have a great day.